Hey guys, what's up? Theo here. In this video, we're using Create React App. I'm going to show you the very basic infrastructure and architecture of a React and Redux application, or more Redux, the more Redux uh, store. So here I have the app. I'm going to do it all in this component, so not a ton of separation of concerns here. Um, but I'm basically just going to get rid of almost all of this right here. Get rid of this class name. Have JavaScript Babel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import Start. Let's run this one more time. Let it run. Yeah, install this. I think I did. We need to reinstall one more time. Alright, so cool. Um, what we want to do to set this up is we're going to basically wrap this application in what's called a provider component. Um, and a provider component allows you to have access to the store from all your components. So that's imported from React Redux, which gives you bindings between the two so that everything stays in sync. We're also going to need to import create store from Redux. And I'm going to just say const store equals create store. Um, and we need to pass it an initial state or an initial reducer. So we're just going to have const. We're just going to create a reducer here. Very simple example. And this is basically just a function which takes in um, this initial state, right? And it's going to be here and an action. And basically, we're just going to switch on the action dot type. For now, we just say default. We're going to return the state. Okay, and let's pass the root reducer right here. What I want to do here actually is instead of this app, I'm going to wrap everything in a provider component. Say store, store. This actually uses the context API to pass everything down. And I'm just going to give this a div. Hello, Redux. Div. And We'll add on a simple component right here in a second. State is not defined. Switch on action.type. And basically here we're just going to return state. Okay, cool. So hello Redux. And let's make sure we're not getting any errors in the console here. Console. Let's see if we have Redux. I don't think I have the dev tools. Or I don't have the dev extension open right now, so we're not going to really see that in there. But if we go back and we look at React, reload this one more time. And open this up. Look here at React. Here we go. We're connecting. We have this app and we've got a provider. So now we have access to all this. We have dispatch, subscribe, get state, etc. Right? So we have a very sort of singular layout here. So I'm going to just create a very simple component called user. It's going to accept some props, right? And uh, what do we want to do with this? It's just going to basically return some JSX, saying div, div, and a simple h1. I am the user component, right? And inside of here, I'm going to drop the user component right here. I might just define it. I could probably get an error if I define it here because it's not hoisted, so let me. There we go. Huh? Alright. Um, made a mistake on that. It's function. Um, I don't know if, yeah, how it would work with JSX. I'm guessing this would be hoisted then. Um, anyways, so now the user, right? And let's go ahead and log out the props that the user has inside of it. So let's look at this. The user, it's got empty props right there. Uh, what I actually want to do is const connected user. I'm just going to do this all right here connect, and I'm going to pass in user, and I'm going to switch this out for connected user. And then what I want to do here is also import connect from React Redux, and this will allow us to connect our component. Connected user is not fine. 
Okay, and we'll just say specifically we're just dropping it. User component, and now let's look at what we get. So now we get access to dispatch, right? So that's good. And we can actually look and see if we're getting into the store. Uh, so let's look at the action right here. So there's some default actions that get triggered off by uh, Redux from the start. So we've got type, Redux, and net. So we don't really care about that. Well, let's go ahead and dispatch something inside of here. We'll just say props.dispatch, right? Or we'll just do, we'll give this a simple on click handler, right? Let's say on click, props.dispatch, and I want to dispatch type equals tester, right? And data is, we'll just say some test data. All right. So now let's look at this in the background. So we've got tester some data. Oh, sorry, I need to give this on this function. So here we go. All right, cool. So now type Redux, and if we click this, you see we got we're uh, going through that reducer. So I'm going to take out this handler right here, and now it's connected, and we get access. Could pass in two functions. And the first one is called map state props. Again, this is just a really quick 10,000 feet overview of how to use it. And we're just saying map state props. And there, the first argument, the most common, is just state. And in this case, we want to take everything from state, so we're just going to return. And now, if we look at props again, we can sort of see what we're getting. And now we're just getting dispatch, right? Because the state is empty. So we'll say const initial state, and here we'll just say the version, right? so we want the version of the application, 1.00, right? And then users will be John, um, Rick, and James. So let's say we want to propagate on the addition of a new user, right? So now I want to replace this with initial state. Look at this, run this right here, and here we go. We're getting the version of our application, users, and um, and the uh, dispatch method. So let's do let's create a case of add user, right? And what I can do here is I can go ahead and return a new object. I want to spread state across, and I'm going to say users is going to be dot 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 users. I think I'm going to get in trouble here with some Babel stuff. So let's try this out. I don't want to mutate state directly, and I'm going to say action dot user action dot data dot user right here add user, and I want to look at now this map dispatch to props. This is the second method we can pass to connect. So say map dispatch to props, and this allows us to match basically just wrap up um, action critters and calls them right here in this method, and then we can um, call them th via props. So map dispatch to props, and here we get access to dispatch. We're going to return an object, and this is going to be called at user. And basically, we're just going to say dispatch, and we want type at user. Obviously, you probably bring this out to a constant, constant variable, etc. And this is also going to take in a user. And we'll say username at this point. Username. All right, we'll just say user. Right, it's going to be a action dot data. We'll just say action dot user. Right, this is just a name. That's fine. And the user. Right, that's going to be what we want. And here, we're going to say we're just hard coding this, but we're going to say props. We destructure this real quick. Uh, add user, right, and here we're going to say add user, and we'll say Theo, I have myself in there now, okay, and let's make sure all of this is wired up and ready to go, add user, and users is not defined, so we're going to say state.users and action.user, okay, so now let's see, make sure that works, have all of our users displayed out there. So let me look inside of what we're doing here and inside of this app. 
we're just going to put right here, we're going to just do JSON, just for fun, we're going to put uh, json.stringify, and we're going to say store.getState.users, okay, and that will keep us in sync, so let's look, make sure bad let me wrap this in a fragment and I need to update my connected user oh my bad let me wrap this let's wrap this in a fragment see if it complains this is react 16.2 so let's see That. So let me just put it in div. I need to update my create React app. Okay, so there we go. So we got John Rick James, and that clicked it. But so state users, and let's log out the action. Users action user. Let's make sure this is good to go. Action user do. And writer store. And let's look at the render method. Console log. And render. Let's make sure everything is syncing up. Right here. Yeah, so it's running as user. Oh, it's not rendering that component. Cloud connected user. User. And then let's just see. We might need to actually. What we're going to do in here is every time this subscribes, we're just going to do this real quick. Just so we can see it. I'm going to say store.subscribe. This gives us a callback, and we're just going to say we're going to subscribe and the point that mount, and in this constructor here, we'll say this dot users, and what we're going to say is this dot users equals store dot state users. Um, again, just showing a very brief architecture of it. And we'll just say this dot users. Okay, and let's try this one more time. This, sorry about that. Super props structure box. All right. Okay, so I'm the user component, and it's not actually adding anything. Yeah, it's updating it. So let's look at what store that can state is. Yeah, that's adding the user. Store dot get state dot users. Store dot get state. And store dot get state. Store dot users. Store dot get state dot users. And do some more stringify users. Let's take that out. Bring it back up. Yeah, it's not rendering the app every time, so let's just do it. That's why, because it's in the top component, my bad, guys. So let's put it in here. And uh, also, we want 
the users, and I just want to put in uh, json.stringify users, and I'll just put in a template string here. And all right, so say the users are. So users is not fine, and let's go into open street and props. Oh, my bad. Okay. So I needed to just take it out of here real quick. Alright. There we go. And now we see that it is being updated every single time right there because the app component will update, pass this, call this function again, return the state, have it connected, everything it will be updated component based or component wise because that update has triggered basically a repaint in terms of that data um, and everything will be propagated down based on component. Very quick 10,000 foot overview of how to implement Redux in um, 2018. Again, this is we're saying let's spread on the current users, add the current action.user, and also do more validation, like I said. This is a non sort of mutating way of doing it. So, again, we just create our store, create this root reducer. All it is is just a function that accepts state and an action, looks at the action type, right? type is a property that must be on here um, and returns just a new updated copy of the state so we're not mutating it. Again the provider all that does is this passes the store down to every other connected component and the connect again takes the map state to props, mass dispatch to props, just enhances this and again I just did this so that we didn't have to break this out into another file or export anything. So a really quick example hopefully you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching have a great day. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.